Hey guys, it's David from Red Wagon Dioramas. Today I'm going to share with you a little customization of the Jar Jar Binks figure that I did to make him representative Binks. So I'll give you a quick rundown of how I uh, made this guy. And it's pretty basic. There's absolutely no painting or any customization of the figure itself. It's just purely the outfit. So it's Moloch's robe here. This is a rubbery robe piece from the Moloch figure from the Solo movie, that worm guy. He's a really tall, bulky figure. So I had an extra of him. And that this robe is so big, it doesn't really fit on many Black Series figures. Like it does fit on Chewbacca and it fit on Jar Jar because of the height of the figure. So I kind of got some inspiration from there. So basically you've got, it. I don't know, three, four parts to this guy. Um, you've got the uh, tunic, robe, kind of this single piece dress uh, that he's got on. You've got the rubber robe from Moloch, which I uh, did some Sharpie work on. I made this collar piece, which has some, uh, some tassels on it, uh, like in the film. And then I made the necklace just out of some plastic card. So probably the most difficult part of this custom was the robe itself, because this obviously soft goods. And uh, you can see I have some of the sleeves here, kind of got the puffy sleeve look going on. And uh, all that is, is I'll pull it out a little bit. The pattern is just to make the sleeves wide down to about the elbow and then bring it in and make them narrower. And then you kind of roll them up on themselves to get that puffed out sleeve look. But my amazing wife, she sewed this inner robe for me. She did all the sewing. She's done some, uh, she has some experience with the sewing machine that I do not have. So I asked if she would mind attempting to make a dress for my action figure. So first step was finding some fabric and we found this reddish kind of stretchy fabric. I think it might've been left over from like an old swimsuit or something. Um, I don't really know fabrics, guys, but it's basically a stretchy kind of material, kind of like a spandex that's smooth, has kind of a sheen to it, and it was close enough to the right color in the movie that I thought it would work. So we took a piece of this and made a pattern based off of a Jedi robe and cut that out, and then she uh, sewed it together using the sewing machine and then some hand stitching. The most difficult part of this was probably the... Uh, getting the sleeves and the armpits right so that it's the right dimension, so it fits on the figure pretty well. I never thought Jar Jar and I would be this intimate. <laughs> My wife did the first, um, the seams at the side on the sewing machine, and as far as she could do with the arms and sleeves, um, and then she hand stitched some of it. The really difficult part was a little too big and bulky around the back, so we kind of bunched it all together and pulled it all together in the back. But that was fine because it was all getting covered up by this black um, shoulder piece that I glued on here over the hood. You're even wearing your Star Wars shirt today. It's awesome. <laughs> we weren't sure exactly how to get the sleeves to work, but we uh, we tried it and actually worked out pretty well. Uh, there's a lot. Of, there was a lot of trial and error, you know, just kind of tweaking things to get it to fit right on the figure and look right. So basically, after the robe was on and fitted. Then uh, that was the most difficult part. Then all I, all I had to do was repaint Moloch's robe here and do the little shoulder piece here and then the necklace. Uh, Moloch's robe, I just started by painting it black. I just got some acrylic craft paint, watered it down a bit, and did a, I think I did two coats over the whole robe, inside and out. And uh, that covered pretty well. This is a kind of a rubbery, real rubbery piece. So... It too, took two coats for it to kind of fill in some of the cracks and stuff. And I felt like I, I just didn't, I wanted to be a little bit thicker, not really being sure how the uh, Sharpies were going to take to it either. Basically, after I had it painted black, I wanted to do this gold and blue pattern. And in here, I'll flare it out for you guys. You can see what it ended up looking like. But in the movie, it's a real decorative cloth. And I knew I wasn't going to be able to get like that level of detail to it, but I wanted to get the idea of the gold and the blue. So I used two Sharpie pens and I started with the gold first and then I did the blue. All right guys, so the Sharpies that I use are these ones here. And I did try a couple different ones before I got the look that I liked. But so is this uh, metallic gold, extra fine point Sharpie here. And then this metallic sapphire, a blue 
permanent marker Sharpie. So those were the two pens I used. And basically I, I started on the kind of the lapels here. I did this little pattern down here, figured out kind of the spacing to kind of, you know, again, using a reference photo from the film, you know, kind of, if you, if you look up close, it kind of looks like a, you know, three-year-old scribbles, but you know, back away a little bit and you get the idea, you get the blue and the gold pattern mix. So I didn't, it actually didn't take that much time, just kind of a, you know, steady hand doing the dashed lines, following the shape of the fabrics, uh, ins and outs, the wrinkles, and just did it symmetrically, worked from each side and towards the middle. So after doing the Sharpie and the robe, I did this shoulder piece, and I'll get a little close here. This is made out of a piece of black felt, um, just some extra material my wife had in her in her fabric supplies. And then I used this, um, I don't know what kind of thread this is, it's very soft thread, and it's it's made out of four pieces of smaller thread kind of twisted together. So when you untwist it, you get a pretty fine uh, tassel -y look. I tried a couple different kinds of threads and I wanted something that had enough bulk to be visible, you know, on the shelf, but also had some uh, natural draping to it. And this, this stuff kind of sticks out a little bit, but it worked well. And all I did was put some Elmer's glue on the piece of felt and then gently um, dab in sections of this thread and then let it dry. It took a couple times, honestly, because they, the Elmer's glue doesn't dry very fast. So I think I tried some super glue too. Kind of pain in the butt, but it came together. And then once I had that whole shoulder piece ready with the tassels dried, then I just used super glue and put it on the back of the hood and set it in place and pressed it down. It was pretty simple actually putting that together. The last piece is he wears this really fancy ornate metal necklace thing in the movie. I cut it out of white plastic card. I don't know how thick this is. It's, you know, maybe a millimeter thick or so. It's pretty thin plastic and just freehand sketched it and used uh, X-Acto knives to kind of cut it out. For on the shelf, it doesn't need a ton of detail. For up close, yeah, it's a, it's a little basic, but it does the job. Anyway, that's the build. So that's Representative Jar Jar. Very simple. Something's pretty quick and easy to do. Again, I think if you guys are looking, if you have some extra Moloch guys, I know those were clearanced out a number of years ago. These robes fit really well on his body. I don't know, there might be use for him in cust for, for the robe and the Jar Jar body customizing. You know, I know people are making hammerhead um, Thorians from him, so maybe uh, this robe would be a good way, of, you know, would be a good fit for an Thorian character as well. I think it is a great figure. You know, Jar Jar is a, they did a great job. Hasbro did a great job with the paint job on this guy and the sculpt. So great figure. Wish we had some extra head sculpts to go with him. But uh, this works great for now. And here's just another one from my Black Series collection shelf. So thank you for watching, guys. Hit the like button for me if you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, have you tried any customs with Jar Jar? Be curious to see what you guys have done with them. So thanks for watching, everybody, and may the force be with you. Bye.